All right, here comes the funnest part, ready to pour. Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to be taking the brain coral that we just cut at the water jet channels place and we're going to be making a ring out of it. And so if you've missed their video, we'll have a link to that down in the description as always when we work with them. And uh, when we cut this, it just looks so cool on the inside. It's got this really interesting intricate pattern with all these kind of open like pockets, little cells. And uh, I, I saw that and I was just like, I gotta figure out how to turn this into a ring. So the way it is right now, it's white on white, which really kind of downplays the pattern. I think if we can get some contrast in here, that'll really help. And then it's also obviously very fragile in the current state. So I've got a way to fix both of those things. We're going to use, this is our new AstroTech resin. We'll have a link to this in the description. We're going to use that to uh, infuse the entire piece of coral. That's gonna make it strong. But then I'm gonna take this uh, shimmery color pigment here that's blue, and then we're going to use that to color it. And that should really help bring out the contrast. But before we do anything with the resin, I'm going to take this over to my diamond tile saw and just cut this into a more usable, uh, more uniform shape because the way it is now, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to work with. But that's the plan for everything. This should make for a ring that'll blow your brain, if you will. All right, I've got all three of these pieces prepared, ready to go. After I cut them, I took them over to the sink and I scrubbed them out really nice and thoroughly, got rid of any extra grime that was on there. And then I threw these in the oven at about 200 degrees for about an hour. That just dried them out really thoroughly. That way we don't have any water trapped in there that might ruin some of the resin. Because these are such weird irregular sizes, I don't have a mold that fits them, so I'm just gonna make my own with duct tape. All right, all three of these pieces are ready to go. I'm just going to start with doing one. I don't want to uh, waste the material in case I figure out something I could do better next time. So we'll start out with just one. I'm gonna do the smallest one, and then I'll go ahead and just pour out equal halves of the AstroTech resin. I'll do that now. Now I'm ready to go ahead and add in the pigment. This should give it a really awesome, shimmery, swirly look. And my favorite thing about our new resin here is just the big, long, open time that it has. So you can work with it for 30 minutes, even sometimes, depending on the temperature, up to like 40. So we're not in a rush here. We're just taking our time. We're trying to do things right the first time. And then what's going to be really nice is even after I mix this up, if I take my time and I'm slow, this will take me maybe five minutes max. That'll give us 25 minutes of time that I can put this in the vacuum. And that's going to be critical because there are so many small little pores in this coral that we want the resin to be able to seep into. So that is really handy in this situation. If we had a faster curing resin, it might not even work at all. So that's going to be helpful. All right, here comes the funnest part, ready to pour. That's so fun, look at the pattern. Ooh, I almost forgot, before we go over to the vacuum, this is my cup that I've been pouring all of my excess resin into lately. I've got some excess resin here. I'm gonna pour that in here. We'll give this like a month or two, and as I, uh, do more and more resin projects. This is gonna slowly fill up and it's just gonna look absolutely insane. So I'll put that in there. The rest, I might as well just dump it on there in case I underestimated how much resin I needed. All right, these have been in here for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure, or let in the pressure, I should say. And once we pull these out, we'll be able to see that they should be completely bubble-free. Yep, there we go. 
So in theory, once we release that vacuum, all the pressure should have pushed the blue resin into all the different cracks and pores of the coral. No way to tell until we let it cure. So I'll let this cure overnight, then we'll cut into it and we'll see how well we did. All right, it's now the next day. This is completely hardened and as you can see, the swirl pattern looks awesome. Now I'm gonna take it over to my mill and we're gonna cut into it and just see if uh, the vacuum infiltration method was effective. All right, I had a couple little issues with it cracking, but look at this. These are some really promising looking results. Love that look, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So let's go ahead and get out the diamond hole saws and cut some blanks out of it. All right guys, update time. It's been about 48 hours since you watched me break that blank, and that was very, very sad. I had to start all the way over from scratch with a whole new strategy. What I did is I cut out a blank of the coral first. So I went back to one of my original pieces that didn't have any resin on it. I cut out that blank very carefully, and then I put the whole thing just in a little cup. Then I cast the resin directly onto that. It looks like it's working and uh, most importantly, we have a coral blank that is intact. So now, should be able to machine this down into a nice, thin, comfortable ring to wear, and it should look amazing. So, let's go for it. All right guys, it's finished. So happy to get this done and in one piece. This was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be going into it. Obviously, just starting over from scratch makes projects hard. This was especially tricky, but I think the results are worth it. Look at this. Love that organic look that it has. All those celled off little sections of the blue. Awesome. I love the blue with the white. It's super nice contrast. All right, guys. Well, that's the video. Not much more to it than that. I love the finish this has. That was just using our Patrick Adair Supplies polish. I was amazed. 
at how nicely this thing polished up. It's like reflective. Awesome. Cool guys, well thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate the support, especially when I you know, spend so much time on all these. So, thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna be it for this week, but I will see you next.